What is the best CPU for video editing and audio production? Let's find out. Welcome to the Ultima Audio PC Build. I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com, and over this series, I'm building what I believe will be the ultimate machine to do all of my audio and video editing, and possibly a bit of live streaming too, which I really like to do. Uh, I started off on an iMac, actually a really good one. The spec of this is amazing. The processor is a four gigahertz Intel Core i7, which, as you would imagine, right, is a pretty good processor. But can I do any better? So. Well, I have a little bit of knowledge on building computers and tech, but it's not my full-time job. So during this series, I'm going to be learning too. And if I make any glaring mistakes, feel free to correct me in the comments of the video. Uh, so finally, after lots of research, I settled on this beast right here. This is a Ryzen 7 processor. In fact, it's the best processor that money can buy right now on the consumer market. So I thought that's got to be good. But you might say, well, Mike, okay, how will it go against your iMac? How would it go against an Intel i7? Well, thankfully, I have an Intel i7 that I can test it against. I did a lot of research, I watched a lot of videos, I viewed a lot of benchmarks online, and what I discovered is that while Intel might well have the edge if you're a gamer and you like playing fast FPS games that really look good on your screen, it seems that AMD are really taking the crown with their Ryzen series when it comes to video editing, audio editing, encoding, and using Adobe CC applications. Now, while I might want to, in my spare time, hit up a few video games, pretty much I'm interested in the CPU doing its job for me. And as the CPU is pretty much the most important purchasing decision above anything else that you can make as someone who's doing encoding, encoding, through the CPU, not the GPU. Um, live streaming, through the CPU, not the GPU or the RAM. So the CPU, it's the beating heart of your PC build. That's why I really shelled out the cash for this. This is an AMD Ryzen 7 2700X. It's a second generation from what I understand uh, from the first release, 4.3 gigahertz, so more than my iMac currently, uh, max boost, uh, but 3.7 gigahertz base. Um, what is important is it's not really about the gigahertz of the, uh, the CPU from what I understand. It's more about how many cores your CPU has, so how much simultaneous encoding it can do at the same time. This one has a massive eight cores, again, very high end for consumer grade. So I'm excited to open this up and take a look at this wonderful AMD Ryzen 7. And uh, wow, included in the box is an amazing, wow, fan. That's, that's actually a fan in this box. Let's open this up and have a look. Yeah, that is a fan. And that's your kind of basic stock CPU cooler, which actually for a stock CPU cooler is pretty good. It's pretty beefy that one. So I don't think I'm gonna need to buy a separate cooler uh, for my CPU. That's a good start. And then of course, precious and stashed away in there is the actual brains or the heart. Not sure whether to call it the brains or the heart, but it is very important, the Ryzen 7 2700X. Like I say, I really splashed out on that one because I know how important it is. I'm gonna get it into my build. Join me next time for the ultimate audio PC build where we'll look at something to put that CPU on top of, a motherboard. <laughs>